Hey, good day, guys. Um, today we'll be talking about synaptic inhibitions. You know, you already know what is synapsis. That's a junction. That's a gap between two nerves, or a nerve and uh, an effector organ, which could be muscle or gland. All right. So we'll be talking about um the synaptic inhibitions in this area. And first of all, you should know that um if you have a synaptic inhibition and you want to stop it, you could use strychnine. Okay. This destroys synaptic um, inhibitory function. So now, what are the types of the synaptic inhibitions? First of all, we have the Renshaw inhibition. It is initiated by the Renshaw cells in the anterior gray matter. Okay. Now, when motor cells of the cerebrum send motor impulses to the anterior gray horn of the spinal cord, some of these impulses stimulate the Renshaw cells by passing via the collaterals. Okay. So the Renshaw cells return signals and impulses to the alpha motor neurons so that the motor discharge will be reduced. Okay, so this is inhibition caused by the Renshaw cells. Okay, now the importance of this is to cut excess motor impulses, right? They are about the presynaptic inhibition. Um, this occurs due to the failure of the presynaptic axon terminal to release neurotransmitters. Okay. Um, due to the failure of the presynaptic axon terminal to release neurotransmitters, okay? And how about the postsynaptic inhibition? This occurs due to the release of inhibitory neurotransmitter substances such as GABA, glycine, DOPA from the presynaptic neurons entering into the postsynaptic, all right? So um, these neurotransmitters are actually inhibitory, all right? So this will cause a postsynaptic inhibition. So this leads to the exit of both potassium and chlorine leading to the hyperpolarization which inhibits transmission okay so um, these are presynaptic inhibition and this is also the post synaptic inhibition right so these guys we are done with our lecture on synaptic inhibition i'll see you guys very soon in the next year and bye for now